Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Today is day six of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And throughout, we are following the 21 day all things new prayer and reflection guide. And you can, you can access that on our website, southlakechurch.com. This week, week one, the theme is all things new in my life. And then today, day six, our theme is, and I love this, in my life, new outpouring, fresh anointing. New outpouring and fresh anointing. And today's scriptures are Joel 2, 28 to 29 from the Old Testament, and then Acts 1, 8 out of the new. And so let's read both of those this morning. And I encourage you to also consider the reflection questions as well. They're excellent. So first Joel chapter two says this, then after doing all those things, God speaking, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. In those days, I will pour out my spirit even on servants, men and women alike. And so twice in these verses, the prophet Joel sees a time coming when God would pour out his Holy Spirit on both men and women of all generations. And in Acts chapter 2, during the Spirit's outpouring at Pentecost and the birth of the church, uh, Peter references these words from the prophet Joel, this prophecy. And then in Acts 1.8, just before Pentecost, the last thing Jesus said to his disciples, right before his ascension to heaven, he said this. This is our second, second verse. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. As our theme suggests, God wants to give you and me a new outpouring and a fresh anointing. The word anointing in the Bible is a word that means literally to smear oil on a person. <laughs> the oil was a symbol of the Holy Spirit. And oil would be used to anoint or set someone apart to be used by God for special mission and impact. Of course, Jesus is the ultimate anointed one. In fact, the Hebrew word for Messiah means literally the anointed, the one anointed with oil. Indeed, Jesus, the anointed one, wants to impart to us a fresh anointing, which is a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit filling us and empowering us to serve God and impact people for his kingdom purpose. But what I've discovered, and you may have too, is that I regularly need a fresh anointing in my life. Sometimes the oil sort of dries up or, or seems to run out. I find that regularly I need to make myself available to the Holy Spirit in prayer, waiting, worship, the word, in order to release the fresh outpouring of his anointing and blessing upon my life. So, dear South Lake family, let's do that today. Let's contend for a fresh move of the Holy Spirit. It's part of what this 21 days is all about. Because we need it, our community needs it, our nation needs it as does our entire, entire world. But the great news is this, that God in these last days wants to, in fact, he's promised to pour it out upon us. So let's pray. Lord, today we make ourselves available to you. Holy Spirit, would you come and fill us as individuals and as a church family with a fresh outpouring and anointing of your presence, of your power, Lord, that we might fulfill your purpose and have the impact that you would have it for us. Help us to sense your presence today. Help us to surrender completely to you. And we thank you for everything you will do as you draw us near. Fill us, use us. That's our prayer. Thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for providing, protecting, and directing us, our, our families, and our church family. In Jesus' name, would you say amen with me? Amen and amen. We we'll look forward to being with you either online or in person tomorrow, Sunday morning. I'll be bringing a devotional tomorrow early as well. So God bless. Look forward to seeing you soon.